Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today, you're going to be starting a new activity titled 2A Identity Charger Practice. It is in Topic 2, Identity Charger in Google Classroom. Please click on the Identity Charger Practice document. Once you've selected that document, you'll see several different instructions, links, and sections for written responses, as well as a drawn response. Your activity today is going to include doing some written responses for page one, as well as starting some drawing responses for page two. So let's click on the presentation and look through some of the information. So as I said, our challenge is called Laser Engraved Identity Charger. The challenge is to create an artwork that represents your identity. The criteria, the images in the artwork will symbolize the artist's unique and identifiable qualities. The artwork will include high quality composition, repetition, contrast, as well as additional drawing techniques. Constraints. Materials include pencil, color markers, color pencil, and cardboard. All images must be drawn on a laser engraved charger silhouette. So here's some different examples of high quality seventh grade artwork from the past. Notice how all these artworks are drawn on a previous laser engraved cardboard charger. Your images that you'll be drawing will be large, fill the page, suggest overlap, and include a variety of color, texture, pattern, and other elements of perspective. Each of these images will represent aspects of your identity. So the objects that you include are going to suggest meaning and metaphors for your personality. What you're going to do is start by brainstorming some different ideas with written responses using four different questions. These four different questions are encouraging your creativity and brainstorming to start to generate ideas. The first question focuses on passions, interests, beliefs, and family origin. So you want to think about what are some of your things that are very, very important to you, things that you enjoy doing. Beliefs could represent, for example, not just your religion, but also things that are important to you, such as um, doing your best, loyalty, trustworthiness, um, working hard. Family origin could represent where your family is originally from, whether it's from a different state, a different country, or simply just Minnesota. The second is other kind of passions and interests, such as sports, games, hobbies, or other activities you enjoy doing. Three is your favorite animals, seasons, and locations. Four is your favorite books, movies, shows, video games, or even music. So you want to think about your personal identity and answer each question with as many written responses as possible. So be sure to write a written response, as many as you can, for the following four questions in your practice document. Once you've written down some different words, you're next going to be drawing the things that you wrote down. Notice in this table here that after passions, interests, beliefs, family, origin, I have three squares here. Each of these squares indicate that you should be drawing three different images for each of these ideas. You want to include sports, games, hobbies, and activities for four different examples as well three different examples for favorite animal seasons and locations as well, as well as three different favorite books, movies, shows, video games, and music as well. You want to draw as many ideas as you can to come to your best idea. Here are some of my ideas. So, for me, I'm originally from Iowa. That focuses on my family of origin. So you could do the boundary of a state, flag, I drew a piece of corn. I'm also uh, uh, from the United States of America, proud to be an American, so I have the American flag here. And I'm also very passionate and have beliefs on equality. So I have a fist here represent Black Lives Matter. Um, some of the things I enjoy are football, 
watching the Minnesota Vikings and where I went to college, Luther College. So I have shapes and symbols that represent that. And also, I have several yellow labs as pets. So I drew the dog here. I enjoy spending time for a location at the cabin. I re represented that as a loon. And also, I wanted to show my passion for dogs in another way besides just drawing the dog itself. So I did a bone and a paw print. Um, other favorite medias. I love the movie Top Gun, so I did an F-14 uh, Tomcat. I enjoy playing chess, so I did a queen chess piece. And I love uh, Iron Man as well as the Marvel Cinematic Universe, so I did a photo of Iron Man. So notice how I have three images for each one of these things to represent different aspects of my identity. Notice how a lot of these drawings are not super sophisticated and detailed. They are high quality, but have been um, simplified to do the most clear and communicative idea. So keep that in mind as you are working. Um, when you are done with all 12 total sketches, you're going to be taking a photograph of it and inserting it into this document here. Notice how in this document, even though it's broken up into four different sections, there's one just section here. So what I would, I would recommend you do is draw all 12 of your drawings on just one piece of paper. So you could create your own grid, table or grid or fold your paper in half accordingly. So you're drawing just smaller sections for each of these things. So expectations for today. You're going to be doing a written response for questions one, two, three, and four on page one. And then you're gonna take those written responses and start turning them into images for page four. Please feel free to use your internet browser as a resource to look up examples of how to draw certain things. So please stay focused today as you're working on your new challenge for the laser engraved identity charger challenge.